Hello folks, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm reading Luke 22 through 34. And there seems to be a lot to worry about in the world today. And here in the Bible, Jesus says, Do not worry. And he said to his disciples, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, nor about the body, what you will put on. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which have neither storehouse nor barn, and God feeds them. Of how much more valuable are you than the birds? And which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? If you are not able to do the least, why are you anxious for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil They neither toil nor spin, and yet I say to you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothes the grass, which today is in the field, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? And do not seek what you should eat or what you should drink, nor have an anxious mind. For all the things in the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knows that you need these things. But seek the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added to you. Do not fear, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell what you have and get, give alms. Provide yourselves money bags which do not grow old, and treasure in heaven that does not fall. Fail. Sorry, fail. Where no thief approaches, nor moth destroys. For where your treasure is, your heart will be also. So, of all the things in the world we have to worry about, God says, do not worry. And what I've learned is the more I worry, and the more I try to fix it, usually the worse it gets. When I finally get so frustrated, and so fed up, and so tired of the fight that I just break down and cry and pray and give it all to God. Sometimes I have outright flung it at him. I give it all to God. It doesn't take long. He just fixes it and it's not what I'm expecting. It's really what I thought I wanted, but it's always for the best. So when you hear all these little things that tell you to worry, all these little things that go around and around in your mind, all you got to do is pray and give it to God. Because He knows what we need far more than we do. And He knows the best path for us to be on, regardless of what we think we want. Because there's always something better He has planned for us. Unless you're on the path He wants for you, because it's always going to be exactly what we need. And it's better to have riches in spirit than riches in the world. That's sometimes hard to to take a little bit because everybody wants to have stuff in the world but it's better to guard your spirit and to build up those riches in heaven thanks for joining me hope this helps you out and i hope it helps you find a little peace this particular one resonates deeply with me and reminds me that i always do better when i give it to god and stop worrying myself it's almost a prayer. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thanks for joining me. Be blessed.